Good morning, dear students. Today our topic is sentences. Today we will discuss about sentences and its different types. Yes, see on the board. A school. This is number two. A fruit is apple and number three. Fruitful animal is a dog. The yes, these words. These groups of words don't make any sense. These are called jumbled words. These are not sentences. Now, sentence. The sentence. Example. This is. This is a. School number two, an apple, an apple is a fruit. An apple is a fruit. Number three, yes, faithful animal the a dog is a dog the the dog. The dog is a faithful animal. Is a faithful animal. Yes. Now read the sentences. This is a school. Second one. An apple is a fruit. And the third one is the dog is a faithful animal. Yes, all these sentences make a complete sense. So these are sentences. Next, we will discuss about phrase. What is a phrase? The phrase. Yes, some groups of words make sense, but not complete sense. Not complete sense. That is called phrase. For example, number one in the playground. In the playground. Number two, to meet a friend, to meet a friend. These are called phrases. These groups of words make sense, but not a complete sense. हमें sense मिल रही है कि in the playground, but not complete sense. इनसे हमें complete sense नहीं मिल रही. These are called the phrases. Yes. Let us revise. A group of words which makes no sense is just a jumble of words. वो sentence जिसकी कोई sense नहीं है, that is called a jumble of words. Second one, a group of words which cannot stand on its own. Can't stand on its own, but makes सम सेंस कुछ सेंस होती है उसकी इज कॉल्ड अ फ्रेज दैट इज कॉल्ड अ फ्रेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमने पहले बताया था आपको इन द प्ले ग्राउंड और इन द मीटिंग यस नेक्स्ट नंबर थ्री अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स विच मेक्स कंप्लीट सेंस इज कॉल्ड अ सेंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोइंग टू स्कूल आई एम प्लेइंग आई एम गोइंग टू मार्केट These sentences make complete sense. So these sentences are called uh, these uh, groups of words are called uh, sentences. Yes, next two uh, kinds of sentences. Number one, affirmative, assert, uh, affirmative or assertive sentences. Or इसे क्या कहते हैं? Declarative sentences भी कहते हैं. Number two, interrogative sentences. Number three, imperative sentences. And number four, exclamatory. सेंटेंसेस नेक्स्ट हम इनको सभी को एक्सप्लेन करते हैं नंबर वन अफर्मेटिव सेंटेंसेस 
Affirmative sentences. It says or states something. A sentence that says or states something. Says or states something. Is called an affirmative or assertive sentences. For example, and it ends with the full stop. Last week, what is it? Full stop. Ends with full stop. For example, I drive a car. I drive a car. Last week, what is it? Full stop. Next one. We are playing. We are playing football. Last week, full stop. हम क्या है? Football खेल रहे हैं. We are playing football. Yes. Next है. You learn. You learn your lessons. Or you learn your lesson. You learn your lesson. Last me full stop. Yes, but these sentences can be these assertive sentences can I can be either affirmative or a negative. For example, har bhajan h a r b h a j a har bhajan is not a best. These sentences are can be either affirmative or a negative. Yes, next number two. Interrogative. Sentences. Interrogative sentences kya hote hai? An interrogative sentence asks a question. Asks a question. And ends with ends with sign of interrogation. Okay? Do you take milk every day? For example, do you take milk every day? Last week I have sign of interrogation. Do you play football? Do you play? Football. Last me kya aega? Sign of interrogation. Next. Is everything ready? Is. Is everything. Ready? Last me. Sign of interrogation. Yes. The sentence asks a question and ends with a. Sign of interrogation that sentences are called the interrogative sentences. जिन में से हमें कोई question means जिसको हम हिंदी में क्या है question वाचक वाक्य जिन से कोई प्रश्न पूछते हैं हम that is interrogative sentences. Next है imperative sentences. Next number three imperative sentences. Number three Imperative Sentences Imperative sentences consultant and imperative sentence expresses a command or request. 
और एम एडवाइस एंड एंड विथ फुल स्टॉप एंड इंपेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस एक्सप्रेसिस कमांड रिक्वेस्ट और एन एडवाइस एंड इट एंड विद फुल स्टॉप फॉर एग्जाम्पल शो मी योर नोटबुक फॉर एग्जाम्पल शो मी योर नोटबुक नेक्स्ट गिव अप योर बैड हैबिट्स गिव अप योर बैड habits next number 3 don't walk on the grass don't walk on the grass yes the sentence which expresses command request or an advice that sentences are called imperative sentences number 4 exclamatory exclamatory sentences yes exclamatory sentences expresses some strong feeling expresses some some strong feeling iske liye use hota hai express kya express karne ke liye some strong feeling some strong feeling ko express karne ke liye an exclamatory sentence for example what a grand building what a grand grand building last me kya hai sign of exclamation how beautiful how beautiful the girl is how beautiful the girl is last me kya hai sign of exclamation what a great singer next example what a great singer he was or a, we can use any name mukesh mukesh was what a great singer mukesh was last me sign of inter uh, sorry sign of exclamation yes dear students we make sentences for four purposes four purpose ke liye hum kya hai sentences use karte hain kaun kaun se purpose hai ye we use or we use sentences for four purpose number 1 kaun kaun se purpose ke liye hum sentence use karte hain to make a statement first humne kya kiya tha jo tha hamara assertive sentence tha to make to make a statement number 2 और किसके लिए यूज करते हैं हम टू आज का क्वेश्चन टू आज अ क्वेश्चन इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस थे जो वो किसके लिए यूज होते हैं टू आज का क्वेश्चन एंड नंबर थ्री टू गिव ऑर्डर और रिक्वेस्ट जो हमारे थे इंपेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस टू गिव ऑर्डर 
और रिक्वेस्ट टू गिव ऑर्डर और रिक्वेस्ट एंड नंबर फोर टू मेक एन एक्सप्लेनेशन टू मेक एन एक्सप्लेनेशन यस वी यूज सेंटेंसेस फॉर फोर पर्पसेस यस बेटा यू वॉट इट समझ आया सभी को इफ यू फेस एनी प्रॉब्लम देन यू कैन कॉल मी और यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट ऑन माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे यस स्टूडेंट्स हियर आर सम एक्सरसाइजेस फॉर यू गिवन बिलो आर सम ग्रुप्स ऑफ वर्ड्स identify them write s for sentence j for jumbled words and p for phrase in the space provided against each group next exercise number 3 given are some sentences identify the kind of each sentence write a for assertive i for interrogative and e for exclamatory sentences and i am for imperative sentences given below next exercise number 5 here are some groups of words they don't make sense rearrange them to make meaningful sentences and also put a suitable punctuation mark at the end of each sentence thanks and have a nice day